It's Tuesday the 11th of May. This is the news in 60 seconds. In today's newspapers, new unit set up to schedule vaccination of service staff. The Ministry of Public Health has set up a scheduling unit to support the vaccination of key service workers in Qatar. In a post on social media, they said, To support the gradual easing of restrictions, it will be important that workers in the service industries are protected against COVID-19. To facilitate this, the Ministry of Public Health has set up a COVID-19 Vaccination Scheduling Unit, or VSU, for the vaccination of business workers in support of the National COVID-19 Vaccination Program. Businesses, not individuals, can contact the unit directly to schedule vaccination appointments for their staff. Priority will be given to key businesses that are in direct contact with the rest of the community, such as barbershops, hairdressers and salons, restaurants, retail shops, supermarkets, hotels and other hospitality services. 50% of eligible people get at least one dose. The Ministry of Public Health yesterday reported that 49.6% of the eligible population in Qatar has received at least one dose of COVID-19 vaccine. India thanks Qatar Airways for delivering oxygen cylinders from the United Kingdom. The Indian authorities have thanked Qatar Airways for facilitating the shipment of oxygen cylinders to India from the UK. The Indian Embassy in Doha tweeted yesterday, We deeply value the logistic support extended by Qatar Airways for transporting free of charge 1,350 oxygen cylinders gifted by the British Oxygen Company from London to India. Ships with oxygen cylinders and concentrators from Qatar reach New Mangalore port. Another ship carrying 40 metric tons of liquid medical oxygen provided by France and facilitated by Qatar arrives in Mumbai. For all the information you need on Qatar, get Mahaba's amazing e-guides. They're completely free of charge and available on their website www.mahaba.qa forward slash e-guides. Qatar's weather today. Doha will see temperatures between 28 and 41 degrees. Elsewhere in the country, it will be between 22 and 42 degrees. Now today's COVID update. In the last 24-hour period, there have been 397 new cases of COVID-19 and 1,022 recoveries. Unfortunately, there were also four COVID-related deaths. Which means for the 18th day running, there has been a decrease in active cases, today dropping by 629, giving us a new current total of 8,325 active cases. That's all for today. Please take care and I'll see you tomorrow.